this. We gotta get going. So today is the day. The day where I get to pick up my bees. We take an hour drive to Barry, Massachusetts in Central Mass. The bees are kept at a sanctuary called Autumn Morning Farm. That's George O'Neill showing me around. He owns the place. He has 150 hives, and even 200 more hives down the road. This guy is a master beekeeper. Oh my goodness, hi Chris. Cool, thank this you. You ready to do this? Uh-huh. We just got our five frame nuke um, from Autumn Morning Farm. We're gonna take a drive back with these ladies and uh, let them into their new home. This is gonna be an interesting drive. <laughs> no, but I'm really excited and I feel like I'm gonna do really well with the whole installation process of putting them in my hive. Today's a good day for it apparently, as long as it doesn't rain. Obviously, I'm really nervous. Um, but it's nice and cool so most of the bees will be in the box. They won't be flying around. Um, I mean, what's the worst thing that could go wrong? There's just 5,000 bees in a box. So a five frame nuke, like Colby said, is basically five or 10,000 bees in a box that come in basically a small colony. And I'm going to put this colony into my hive. All right. You look really official in that thing. I am official. So I have to light a smoker, which smokes the bees and kind of makes them confused. That lets me manipulate the frames more easily. Typically in early May is when people start to get their new bees for the season. It's still early spring, so there might not be enough nectar for the bees to forage. Therefore, when I transport the bees and install them into the new hive, okay. I have to feed them a sugar water solution to keep them going until they find their way around. Good day. All right. All right, girlies. I'm gonna go for a walk. I'll try and not make it bumpy. I hope you like your new home. Oh, I feel you in there. Oh, I hear I'm going mad. Do you hear him? No. Oh my God. All right. Okay. I think I need a little more smoke, which means put in more pine needles. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not that bad. I can do it.
At this point in the process, I need to take the five established frames that I bought from George and put them into my hive. The bottom box is called the brood box. It can fit 10 frames. <laughs> Once the bees become established, they will start to fill up my empty frames with honey and brood. Brood are baby honeybees. A hive will consist of three types of bees. The workers are the females. They make up the majority of the population and they forage for nectar and pollen. They can also guard the hive and feed the brood and queen. The queen is the most important member. She is in charge of laying all the eggs in the hive. There can only be one queen per hive. The last type of bee is called a drone. They are the males, bigger than the workers. They come from unfertilized eggs. Their job is to mate with other queens from different hives and pass on their genes. The cage is to protect the queen during travel. In a few days, I'll cut open the cork and release the queen into the hive so she can lay her eggs freely. With the frames placed safely in the brood box and the feeder set, I reassemble the hive and allow the colony to get established in their new home. Only one hour after closing up the hive, the bees felt right at home. I was very nervous at first, but everything went smoothly, and I'm curious to see how our new friends take to our homestead. They are but one tiny addition to our tiny house adventures. <laughs>